Here we go. Now. Wow. Thank you so much. All right. Welcome back. Here we are in New Haven, Connecticut at the legendary and the original Frank Pepe's Pizza. And we're here with what looks like and what is their famous white clam pizza. Just to take a look, second to think, if you could smell it. Garlic. The sea. <laughs> Those are my initial senses, the uh, olfactory analysis. Delicious. You see how thin it is. First, we're just going to do our first visual analysis. Paper thin crust. It's like a cracker. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They're going like damn. On the internet. Thank you so much. This looks delicious. Oh my god. Look at this guy. This is their original tomato pie. Since the 1920s, Frank Pappas has been serving up in their monster brick oven for decades to serve the hungry people of the country. Now they have locations all over Danbury, Connecticut. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and take the first place. It's sturdy. Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't lose on me. It's stay. It's, I can trust this. It's pizza I can trust. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the first bite. We're going to take the first bite. Oh my god. Garlic. Garlic, 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 garlic. Mm. <laughs> it's okay, it's just sauce. We're in the time wow. This is unbelievable. It's been a while, it's been about like five years since I've had Frank Pepe sauce. The cr like you said, it holds it. We have a nice layer of cheese, olive oil, garlic, and the clams. Fresh clams, you taste the freshness. They're back there every morning, they're shucking clams, hundreds and hundreds, because everyone's getting their hands on the clam. So, now that I had the first bite of the clam, we're gonna quickly head on over. Look at that. Pizza I can trust. The tomato, look at the beautiful red San Marzano tomatoes, I would imagine. Friends, family, ladies and gentlemen, the first bite of the tomato. So fresh. <laughs> All right. Here you have it. The first bite of Frank Pepe's. Two times. Two ways. I'm going to let my trusted filmmaker, Daniel Steinmetz, dig in because this is his first time here. So, Danny, would you please?